Go ahead, Nolan. Well, Jalen, congrats on the win, man. Um, talk to me about your performance. Were you overall happy with it? Was that kind of what you were expecting to go in there and do tonight? Uh, really? I was going off to take him out, you know, finish. Like, I have a lot of finishes in my fight, but for a pro debut, I'm happy with the performance. I went out there, stuck to the game plan, wrestled him, took to his body a lot, um, damaged him early, and I can see that started to weigh on him. I know he cut a lot of weight. And do you feel like there's some advantages to that, though, going the distance in your debut, getting those minutes in versus if you went in there in 10 seconds? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of people think I've been winded a lot, so I want to go out there. I can go to the distance. And um, even though I didn't take much damage, I'm, I like deep waters. So as, a, as my career goes on, we'll keep going distances. But most importantly, we'll get finishes. Yeah, so a solid first impression. For people that this is the first time they're introduced to you, what else do you have to show? Do you think there's some, some stuff in there tonight that you, you weren't able to show to the people at home? Oh, yeah. My team's a boxing, boxing gym. So there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of boxing I didn't even showcase. There's a lot of uh, stand-up I didn't showcase. We work a lot on a lot of Muay Thai, but overall today i just went out there and wrestled took him out or just took his body took his body took his took his heart I'd yeah say. and i'd say overall people were impressed uh, but they might have been a little disappointed in your shorts no no dunder mifflin shorts for this one what was no going on? <laughs> no i was doing that for way and specifically for that i knew everyone you know who doesn't love the office and shows like that so i did that for the weigh-ins but that was a one and done thing <laughs> this, this might be the toughest question i ask you do you have a favorite character from the office or no oh shrew dwight <laughs> I love Dwight. Dwight's fun. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to beat, man. And uh, last one for me. Um, how are you feeling right now? You're, you're trying to get a quick turnaround, get in there before the end of the year? You're trying to take some time off? What are we thinking? Right now, I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to go back and readjust my diet. The diet is a big thing, I feel like, in MMA. I cook a lot of my own foods, which I know a lot of fighters do, like the meal preps and all that. So I'm going to go back to the paleo diet and uh, or go to the paleo diet. I've never done it before. The caveman diet, high fats, high protein, less carbs, a lot less carbs. I, eat, I love bread and pasta and all that stuff so we're going to take that out this next fight in probably january middle of january i plan to be back in here awesome man thanks thank you donna jalen how's it going man howdy how are you not too bad uh the first couple of minutes when you were standing in there i've never seen someone look like they enjoyed being in the cage so much uh it, 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 it talk to me about that um it was also real i've been thinking about this moment for a while now since i was like 12 so the fact that now i'm 23 and i'm in the cage and i'm doing my thing i mean i told my parents my parents were kind of like you want to fight for a living and i'm like yeah i want to fight so i've always been a fighter and yeah uh, there's no other place i'd rather be in the middle in the octagon than in the middle of the what exactly was being said uh, towards the end of that fight? He was saying that you're not going to finish me, and then there was a bit of jaw jacking going back and forth. What exactly went down there? He was, uh, I, I, you know, I was just like, man, you, you can't beat me. You suck, you know. And he, <laughs> he was like, oh, you know, you all you can do is wrestle. All you can do is wrestle. But this is mixed martial arts at the end of the day, and uh, wrestling's the most dominant sport in mixed martial arts. I truly believe that. So at the end of the day, if you can't wrestle, stay off the cage. Go to boxing. Go to you know, go to something, go kickboxing or something that just stands up. But if you, you can't wrestle and you can't handle jujitsu and positioning and the, the human chess match that goes into that, stay out of the cage. When are you coming back to the cage? Sorry, say that again. When are you going to be back in the cage? Oh, I plan to be back uh, after January. I'm going to change my diet, do some things like that. Um, I'm going to do some weightlifting. I do my own weightlifting right now, but I'm going to get with the weightlifting program, get some, get some more muscle and lean on me, get some more muscle on me, and then – We'll be back in January. I got, this is my first debut, so there's a lot of things that are kind of still from the amateur days coming up, but we did okay, and we're going to come back even better. Luis? Uh, hi. Uh, when a judge gives you a 30 to 25 scorecard, it's got to be a huge feat to do, especially for your debut. Did you expect to make it that easy starting in a stage like this? Um, honestly, I was expecting to – just counter a lot but I got in there and I was just like I don't want to counter I just want to I just want to fight and then so my my eat my I say ego but my adrenaline my ego and all that started kicking in and I was just like man if I can take you down and control you I'm gonna take you down and control you everywhere the fight goes uh, I felt my arms get a little loose in there and that's another thing I'm not gonna use saunas for my next cut I'm not gonna use sauna suits and stuff like that I'm gonna I do a lot of running as it is so I'm gonna do a lot more running and a lot more just training just to cut that weight because saunas deplete you a lot so I, do, I did come out there to make it look easy, but it could have looked easier. Lenny? Hey, Jalen, how are you? Howdy. I'm good, thank you. So uh, you, you had 8-0 as an amateur, and then you start off with your career 1-0 today. 
eight and zero, nine and zero, nine and zero. Sorry, I, I must have saw that uh, that wrong. So you were nine and zero as an amateur, and then you kick off your career today with a win. So that makes you ten and zero overall. And uh, how how good does it feel to call yourself a professional fighter and getting the win today? It's good. I, I feel good. I haven't lost in four years now, so I, I think that's awesome. But we're not done yet. The road, the we're still at the bottom of the hill right now. That's how I truly feel in my mind. And there's a long climb to go. But at the end of the day, I want to retire. You know, I want to retire undefeated. So. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Uh, hope, hope to see you soon. Yes. Simon. Hey, uh, congrats on the win, my man. Simon Merrill from MMA Island here. I have this one special question for you here. Your corner was fairly quiet during the fight. Is that a, a normal tradition, I guess, during a Jalen uh, Bates fight? No, my corner, see, my coach, is, my coach is truly a special coach. He knows how to break down what other fighters do and, and, and break it down. And um, really, it was, it was different because after the first round, if we didn't finish him, um, my coach was going to kick in and start coaching. But then some of the positioning, it's different when you're facing a guy who knows, you know, the position you're trying to go. And then on top of that, like I was saying about the saunas, I was very depleted. It could have looked a lot better. And, my, and I could have listened to my corner, corner a lot more well than I did, but – Really, my body wasn't giving it my all. So, uh, after this fight, you guys will see it. You guys will see the finish. I promise that. John Carlo. Hi, Jalen. Congrats on the win tonight. Uh, very impressive. Uh, you were just talking about the sauna and the weight cut. Like, is this something where maybe if it wasn't a tough weight cut, like where in the future as you get older in the sport, do you see yourself going up to featherweight? Oh yeah. Uh, but not anytime soon, not anytime soon. After I say give, give myself five years at the Bantamweight division, four years, maybe. And then, um, yeah, go up to go up to featherweight and challenge some of the guys there. I see, you know, Darian Caldwell, AJ McKee, all those guys, they're all great guys. So I'd love to get in there and, and that'd be a, even a lesser weight cut for me. So it'd be even better on my body. Cause I'd walk around at 147 anyway, like cutting two pounds would be nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Best Thank of luck. You. Great. Thanks for the time, Jalen. Congrats. Thank you.